Hey, what's going on? Dylan from Chef and the Soldier Studios. So, I'm here today playing Baking Simulator. Alright, so this is going to be a different kind of video. This isn't going to be my normal everyday, Hey, watch me play a game and act like a retard. Well, actually, uh, I did have a question in my comments. I, I The first comment I ever really had was, Are you a chef and a soldier? Um, yeah, we are. Donovan is the soldier, I am the chef. Uh, but here's the thing, I'm not actually a kitchen, uh, as we'd call a la carte, or a la carte, uh, chef. I'm a pastry chef. And, uh, well, actually I can't call myself that. I'm, I'm really just a certified pastry culinarian, junior pastry culinarian at that. Uh, anyways, uh... So I'm just going to be doing a couple baking lessons and stuff. Maybe, hopefully, like someone who doesn't understand baking but is a gamer can maybe get a little bit out of this. Or, you know, whatever. You love video games, you don't like video games, you're just looking up how to make a cake or this and that. Uh, whatever your reason for being here is, I'm just going to start this series off with uh, the creaming method. Which is really just one of the most simplest things to understand, and once you get it down, uh, really baking is going to be easy. I, I have it memorized by heart completely. It's, it's butter first, then your sugar, then eggs, then your solid mixture, then your liquid extracts, and then you portion it out and bake it. Uh, yeah, this comes from doing that a million times. Anyways, uh, don't, uh, I don't know. Baking actually is hard. It, it's not something that someone should take lightly and understand as being easy. Like, I don't know, if you're first going into high school or you're going to school and uh, you decide, hey, I'm going to take a baking class because baking's easy. It's it's not. It, it really is difficult. It, But I guess if you're someone who comes with like a natural amount of talent for it, because, I mean, that, that seems to be a thing with humans. We always have a natural talent for something, regardless. You just got to find what you love. And work will never be work. Anyways, I'm, I'm getting off on a tangent. Anyways, yeah, creaming method. All right. So, hopefully, I'm just going to help you guys understand it here. Uh, arrow keys to look and rotate. This game is going to be so odd. I was good at Surgeon Simulator, kind of. Control left hand, control right hand, move character... Escape is to restart spacebar. Left shift, left shift, left shift, left shift. What? Okay, Q, move hand up and down, E, move hand, okay. Alright. Well. Can I? Alright, well, now we're moving. I don't think my mouse is. is having fun. Here. Nope. Alright, so, here we are, um, get back there. Okay, I, I've never really baked like this before with my hands out. Alright, so here's all the controls listed just in case I ever forget, apparently. How to bake a cake, add all ingredients to the bowl, put the bowl in the oven, nom. Alright, so I'm guessing this is going to be straight from the box cake, apparently, because we just throw everything in the mixer, but that's not how I roll. I make things from scratch. So, here's the creaming method. Alright, so we have our butter, if I can get to it. Butter, eggs, and our solid mixture, which would be usually sifted. Whoa, don't spill the flour. Which would be sifted beforehand so you could add it to it. Um, I guess if you're a culinarian or you happen to have gone to culinary school, you may have learned of the saying mise en place, which is a French term meaning to put in place or to have organized. It's really, it's just meaning uh, to have all your crap together so you don't waste time. Unlike me, who seems to just do this without any prior knowledge. Anyway, so we got to make sure... I. Personally, I don't use this. I, I kind of do it straight from warming it through friction in the mixer. But you have to make sure everything like is room temperature. The butter and the eggs are room temperature. That way it's warm and doesn't have a problem uh, mixing into the other ingredients. But um, sugar is actually 
there. Sugar is not part of your solid mixture. So let's get the butter here. Let's let's stop wasting time. And uh, there we go. All right, right hand. I am a lefty, so this is going to be a little weird for me. Oh, keto. No. Come on. Already, right off the bat, screwing up. Okay, here we go. Attempt number two. Okay, so we grab the butter. We have to check and make sure it's room temperature. So we get our little monkey sausage hands down here. Okay, come on. There we go. Just, just come on. There we go. Oh, yep, that's room temperature, definitely. That is not the sound of butter that I enjoy. Then again, who's full fist in their butter like this? So it, Paula Deen, maybe? Okay, so we, we get that over there. We put that in the bowl. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. So next, we... I can't understand these freaking controls. So next, we got to put the sugar in. Since this game is very in-depth and doesn't have a mixer, uh, because it was created in 48 hours, uh, I really wish there was a baking simulator game. There we go. That was actually realistic. I would have fun with that, but not a lot of people would, so not a lot of people cook. Okay. I Either I have poor depth perception or something's going on here. Oh, no, no, come on! Gotcha. Alright, now we raise up. And we bring it over. Okay. So we want to add the sugar to the butter. But in the creaming method, or like usually, we would completely mix out the butter first. So you'd want to spread it around the mixer so you can add the sugar. But, hey, what do you expect? Alright, so hold shift. Here we go. How much we need a hundred grams? Oh great. I'm not used to metric. I I'm starting to learn it, but the thing is is you don't want to transfer over metric and imperial. Like they they're not two measurement systems that transfer over to each other, so you just kinda wanna learn one and learn the other separately and don't think of them as the same thing. Cause uh I may be wrong, but uh, metric system works in zeros, whoa, more, oh, come on, really, than we do in the imperial system. 27 grams. Why is this not pre-measured out? This makes it a lot harder. By the way, that's like 100 packets of sugar. Come on. I don't want to mess up this cake. Too much sugar and the whole entire formula is off. Come on. Move. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, whatever. A little too much sugar doesn't hurt. A lot. I think being off by a couple grams really doesn't matter. Alright, we're done with that sugar. Okay. So now that we got our butter and sugar all mixed together and the chicken oven here is doing things. Okay. Now we're gonna add our egg. So, let's just pretend all of that is mixed together in a bowl. And, um... I don't know how to deal with these eggs, like personally, um, uh, I, I've i watched people play this game and just the eggs explode. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that scared me. How many eggs did I get in the bowl? Okay, note to self, if I'm ever baking in the kitchen, do not at all touch the carton of eggs. They are just primed explosives waiting to go off. So, can I, can I like skill crane my way over to this now? No? Come on. Here we go, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Please tell me I got that. I did. Yes, yes, come on. Go in there. Go in there. Yes! Alright. So, now that we have our eggs into our butter and sugar mixture now it's time to add our flour this flour beforehand would have been sifted um, usually you don't want to add flour straight from the bag because of the clumps same thing with powdered sugar actually more powdered sugar than anything else because of the cornstarch and powdered sugar uh, makes it clump really bad 
Is this how we grab? Okay. Let's, uh, let's make sure we... Okay, yeah, this is, uh... That is really fast pouring. Okay. So we're just going to want to drag this over to our bowl and slowly pour it in. Just imagine like a a colander, or not a colander, strainer, just right over top of the... Okie dokie. Nope, wrong direction. Wrong direction. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Come on, come on, flower. Come on, flower. You can come out and play. Play with the cake. Play with the other ingredients. Oh, Jesus. Fifty, sixty. Okay, it still counts up, so. Eighty, ninety. One more. Should be good. Come on. Don't. No, no, no. Please. No. Ah, this is going to be hectic. This is just going to be too much. Come on. Ah. You know, I never have this problem in real life. Oh, look at that. Well, we're only four grams off on everything else. You know. You know, since this is not my kitchen and I don't care, there we go. All right. Now we got to grab this bowl. If I could get my hand down there. And raise it up. Make sure we don't spill anything. Um, never before have I made a cake in a glass bowl. So, yeah. Uh, I, I have to say, I don't even think this thing's oven rated. I, I'm pretty sure it will crack. But hey, whatever, I don't care. This is how we make. Okay, um. It's a ghost bowl. Great. Am I am I really holding on to an egg? Please, please tell me I can let go of that. Alright, well. Egg's coming with. And yay! Our cake's in the yeah. oven! Yay! Master Baker Supreme! 1,337 score, 31,000. All right, so that was that was Baking Simulator and understanding the creaming method. Um, I'll probably try to figure out other types of things I can teach from there. Uh, I guess two little important things is the creaming method is mainly used on cookies and cakes. Certain types of cakes, you don't use the creaming method on a sponge cake. Uh, you use a sponge method on a sponge cake. But anyways, that's a different thing, but... Yeah, uh, cookies and cakes. Uh, I can find other recipes that probably use it. Uh, I don't know, maybe it might be some kind of crepe recipe that uses it. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that. Uh, tune in next time or add suggestions if you guys want to see something. I'll go out of my way to find games and find other ways to teach you guys certain baking methods if you enjoyed this. All right, see you later.